Mug shots are used as a photo to keep record of individuals who've been arrested. But what if those photos weren't made public until after the suspect has been convicted? Yeah, new this morning, Nikki Johnson, she introduces us to House Bill 1296, or the mugshot bill, in other words. And good morning, Nikki. Good morning, Josh and Alicia. In most cases, this bill would make jail mugshots confidential in North Dakota. I heard from people on both sides of the question. A lot of times what ends up happening is these photos end up on social media or internet websites where they can't be pulled back even when charges are dropped or people uh, plead down to a lesser charge. Republican Representative Shannon Roars Jones says she introduced this bill to prevent the collateral damage a mugshot could have on a person's reputation if not convicted. This bill balances individual rights of privacy and the public's right to information collected by government employees. The bill includes some exceptions. For example, if the accused is a fugitive from justice, fails to appear for court, or once they're convicted for the offense. In those cases, photos would be made public. F5 Project Director Adam Martin says there are collateral consequences of having a mugshot. It's a statement of guilt for the rest of your life because the internet lives forever. And we didn't have this issue, you know, back before the internet. Could the, the most collateral damage that a person would have was they would make it to the local newspaper. But Jack McDonald, counsel and lobbyist for the North Dakota Newspaper Association and Broadcasters Association, argues the photos complete a story. There is no data to show that it wants it to sell the story. They just think it makes a better story and a more complete story if you have the picture. As of right now, law enforcement agencies are using their own social medias and databases to post photos of the accused. Representative Roars Jones suggested the use of relics, a facial recognition technology to compile all presumptive criminal information, photos included, into one database for the state. Law enforcement could share with other law enforcement or entities that work on behalf of law enforcement. And so we um, proposed that amendment and actually the committee did just take that up and add that to the bill. At the end of the hearing that took place on Monday, there was no vote, but we will keep you posted on when that vote does happen. Josh and Alicia, by the way, this bill wasn't introduced by members of just one party. Six Republicans and three Democrats put their names on that bill, so it'll be interesting to follow. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yep, for sure. All right. Well, thanks Great for work, updating Nikki. us on that, Nikki.